A high fever will cause seizures or brain damage. Fact or fiction? You might be surprised, but fever is actually a good thing. It's your body's response to an infection. And the only reason we treat fever is to make your child feel better, not because it's gonna cause them to have brain damage. So when I have a child with fever, I look for four things. One, how does that child look when they're not having fever? Two, does the fever respond to the appropriate dose of Tylenol or Motrin? Three, how many consecutive days have they had fever? And four, how old is the child? Because a child under two months of age with fever, you should notify your pediatrician immediately. I also get a lot of questions on whether fever will cause seizures, and I get calls in the middle of the night that my child has 103 fever and I'm concerned they're gonna seize. Now, this is a little confusing, because fevers can cause seizures, but it's actually not the height of the fever that causes the seizure, it's the rate of rise. So when I get that phone call that the child already has 103 fever, if they haven't seized, they're probably not going to seize. And febrile seizures aren't very common anyways. So my common sense bottom line, whether your child's temperature is 101 or 105, the first thing to do is treat the fever. It's more important to have a good response to the appropriate antipyretic and how many days the child has had fever than the height of the fever. 